Well hello, all packed and ready to go. We're off on a trip to Mexico. Had a flood event here yesterday. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything's gonna to go to plan. We made it to Auckland and now we're walking across to the International Terminal. We're on our way. It wasn't your best angle. Getting ready to go. And away we go. We are flying Air New Zealand Premium Economy from Auckland to Houston. We booked this months and months in advance so we try and get some cheaper deals. I don't have good sound quality on the flight but just wanted to let you know that I had very nice dinner and tonic and we had fish for dinner and it was very tasty. After that we all settled down, had a bit of a sleep before we got our breakfast served in the morning. Ate too much, good flight, nice coffee and we arrived in Houston on the same day as we left. It is always strange. The flight takes around about 13 hours and we chose to stay the night at Houston in the airport hotel. Well, we've made it to Houston, to the, just to the hotel, and we're settled in, but we're having some um, IT problems with our data and Wi-Fi access. Hopefully we'll sort that out tomorrow, but I'm very tired now, I'm gonna go to sleep. Good morning from Houston. We have barely slept at all. Nice standard hotel room. Uh, and today we're off to Mexico, so let's get going soon. We should have some time in the lounge, which will be nice. Thank you, Kevin, for that. Right, we'll see you later. We checked out of the hotel made our way through to the airport into the United Lounge where we had multiple cups of coffee. Oh, people, haven't we? Lots of people. We're on our United Fire flight. It is a bit of a squash, but here we are. Well, we made it to Mexico City and that means room tour. Let's go. We've got a nice king size bed uh, and a lovely view of a wall. Not really much to see out there. The street I can see that way. Uh, and looking around, what else have we got? We've got a TV, we've got some sort of cabinet and a bit of lots of bench area to put things if I need to put anything there. I'm going to flip you around now. And we've got closets, got lots of closet space, so that's good. Got the air conditioning cranked up. It's 21 degrees. Got somewhere for Kevin's bag. Got a little ablutions area. Nice and light. There's a great big mirror right here. See, mirror. Toilet. Oh, down onto the tile shower. And we've got amenities, so. That's good. I'm going to unpack the big bag, put some things in the cupboard because we're here about six days. I quite like there's a shelf up the bot up the top here and got some plugs there so we can charge up everything. Airport stuff today was absolutely fine. Houston Airport. Security wasn't too bad, got through there really well, had a wee time in the lounge on the flight, which actually was a very good flight, customs and immigration in Mexico, which was easy. Straight through, picked up our bags, went and got an Uber into town, which took half an hour maybe, 20 minutes. We're gonna have a rest because we've had no sleep whatsoever. I was feeling extra tired tonight, so I thought I'd have a really light dinner. Thank you. <laughs> We're alive. 
over and out and about this morning is feeling a bit dusty. I don't know if that's due to the altitude or just travelling. But uh, Mexico City is beautiful, full of parks and all this neo-colonial style buildings. We're having a roam around Roma. <laughs> Right here in this little park there is behind my head, which you can't see, a statue of David. You might wonder why? Well it's just because the city architects were trying to make it look like Europe. So we have David. Lots of wee market stores. We've been wandering around the streets of Roma and we have made it to the Avenue Insurgente. I've probably butchered that and said it completely wrong. Um, and it's the longest avenue in Mexico City at 28.8 uh, kilometres. I didn't read that at all. The name Insurgent comes from the uh, insurgent fight that they had in the early 19th century, and that's why Mexico is independent from Europe. We've got a drink, we're having a wee rest, we're still feeling a bit dusty. Uh, not sure what we're going to be doing next, but we'll figure it out in a minute. So what we did next was a lot more walking. Went past that Fuente de Sabellas. I hope that's how you say it, I have no idea. Very green, very leafy streets until we were exhausted and we needed coffee and a sandwich, which we found at a supermarket. Right, here we are at Parque Mexico, a beautiful green space, very tranquil, in the middle of Mexico City. So It's rained overnight, so it's quite damp everywhere, but it's beautiful. Look at this lovely house. Anyway, we're at the park, we nearly got squashed by this big truck coming through doing maintenance. Then we stopped for a while and had a look at the ducks and the fountains. And the ducks looked at us, looking at them, then we looked at the fountain some more. It's been a full-on busy day wandering around Roma looking at the amazing architecture and all of the sites here and there. I feel, still feeling pretty tired. So tonight we're going to just dine in the room. We grab some things from the supermarket down the road. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow morning. Bye. Today we jumped in an Uber and we head into the centre of town. So we head to the Zocalo area, the historical centre, and look, there's a eagle's snake on the cactus. Good morning from Zocalo. We came here, we're not sure what's going on. There's a huge police presence and a lot of action and stuff going on in the square. We are not able to walk around all of the square. I'm right in front of the President's Palace, so that's the we then found out it was the big celebration for the handover to the new president of Mexico. Unfortunately, everything is closed today, but the beautiful red tabernacle building behind me is sinking. They're trying to keep it together. Ah, silly jet lag tourist, it was open. So we went inside the beautiful church where they're trying to do all the structural repairs because yes, everything is sinking because that's where they built the subway. And of course it has the earthquakes. Lovely to have a look at. I don't think they were very keen on us videoing inside there. Then we went off to the hotel. This is the Grand Hotel, Mexico. This is featured in Bond movies.
We're on the walking street where there's lots of shops, including Zara, which is just there. But oh, better catch the lights. So a beautiful building, started building I think about 1905, finished around 1934. They had problems with the foundation, it's got very soft soil. Everything is sinking here at Mexico. Um, beautiful building, we're not going to go in, there's art exhibitions and things, I think it's made of marble. Lovely. So a short distance away is Alameda Park. So we're here for a bit of uh, rest and restitution in the park grounds, although it's very, very busy. We can have a look at some fountains. So we found the fountains, had a bit of a rest, and then made our way over to the mural, Diego Rivera, and there he is. And there's the mural. They don't like you taking video in here, so this is all photographs. It's in a very interesting mural called A Dream of a Sunday Afternoon in Alameda Park. There was a deal for the meal, the lunch meal, that we just had no idea what was going on. But you ordered a main and we get soup with it and a drink, got this melon, nice melon drink. But Nobody was understanding each other. Anyway, we got there in the end. I've got a lovely soup, but it's, it's a little spicy, but it's really nice. Well, good evening. We have just returned from the wrestling. Lucha Libre. of fun, very loud, uh, a very slick, well organised, oiled um, operation, worth seeing if you're ever here. Catch you again in the morning. Hello, good morning. Uh, today we are going to go to Chapultepec Park, the big park in the centre near the Historico area, uh, and we're going to have a look around there. There's a castle we're going to go to, I believe. Anyway, that's what our day's going to be. Well, I think we, we might even walk over there. It's about four kilometres, but it's through all the nice neighbourhoods, so we might just do that through Roma and Condesa. So that could be what's up for today. So we're here on the corner of Guadalajara, Veracruz. Checking out that was correct, yes. And behind me is a car, which is actually just an art installation. There's a driver in it, uh, but it just sits there. It doesn't go anywhere. Kevin was saying it is beautiful with all of the trees here behind us. They'd rather have bumpy pavements than to cut down the trees. So we made it to Chapultepec Park and we're walking along a boulevard to the beautiful monument. It's very nice. So the monument is a tribute to six cadets who lost their lives defending Mexico City. Now we're walking up to the castle, which is a museum. It's a little bit of a walk up the hill, uh, and it's not very warm, but I am feeling it because we're at altitude and we kind of forget that. Good news, I got in for free because I've got grey hair, so that's good.
was the castle at Chapultepec Park, a historical museum, and it was very worth the $10 that Kevin had to pay to get in. Free for me. We've spent, how long have we been? We've been about a, two hours there looking about, so absolutely worth your while coming here if you're ever in Mexico City. Good morning. Here we are again, another day in Mexico City. Did you know that it is the third largest city in the world? I did not know that. No way, that's not right. It's about number seven or eight. I don't know where I got that information from. 22 point something million people live here. Doesn't really feel like it, but that's just because we're only in the centre of the city, of course. We haven't been anywhere near the outskirts. Last night we had a fairly quiet night. Just went and had some dinner down the road. We are still struggling with the Spanish, but we're getting there. I did do Spanish lessons for a while on Duolingo. Haven't really helped me at all, but that's okay. We're just going to bumble along. This morning we are off to uh, Casa Azul, so Frida Kahlo's house. Waiting for the Uber. So here we are at uh, Casa Azul, just behind me. We took an Uber out from our hotel and it took about half an hour. But it was a very pre pleasant ride. He had some lovely music playing for us. Uh, the 10 o'clock, it's just opened now, so we've got about half an hour to wait for our group booking. We had to book about two or three weeks in advance at least, and we did that. So here we are. Well, that was Casa Azul. That was very nice. You're not allowed to take any video when you're inside, and uh, strictly sort of controlled photos and things like that. But it was very interesting to have a look at her life. Uh, the corset was very important. She had polio and she was injured in an accident, um, and it had quite an influence on fashion and design. So we can still see it today with all of those sort of interesting clothing articles that she wore which wasn't the fashion of the day. Our next stop is to the Leon Trotsky Museum. Of course he was a friend of, or a very close friend of Frida, apparently. Right, so we're going to go and try and find that. Well that was the very interesting museum of Leon Trotsky. Uh, he was kind of the last man standing out of the Bolsheviks after Stalin was executing everybody. However, he got to him in the end in 1940 with a, an ice axe to the head, which wasn't very pleasant. Managed to get rid of all of the rest of the family as well. I think there was a son or a grandson who left living in Mexico. Worth a wee trip to have a look at that. Interesting to learn about the history uh, of those horrible times. And in fact, this is a lovely, lovely little neighbourhood to have a wander around in. We're now going to try and find a market. We're in one of the parks, we're still trying to find the coyotes. Uh, we've just had a quick look at the market and we bought a bottle of Pepsi because uh, it's getting warm. Funny temperature, it's co pretty cold in the morning but gets quite warm during the day and today there is no cloud which is nice, lovely and sunny. We found the coyotes, which is what the little suburb is named after. Coyotan, which I'm probably not saying right, but it's coyotes.
Right, we've just come back from Mezcal and Taco uh, tour, which was really, really good. And the Mezcal was very interesting. We had a margarita to end and some Mezcal with the rattlesnake in the jar. I'm very tired now. I've had lots to eat. Really enjoyed the uh, brisket taco, but it's time for bed. So good night. Good morning. It is uh, here. At, well, here we are at uh, Moroj Churros. We've got churros for the first time with chocolate drink. We, that's what we got today. This one. Let's give it a go. Sugary, sweet, cinnamon, crunchy, oily. <laughs> it's got all the good taste. What are you thinking? It's okay. It's okay. Way too much sugar. In it. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of sugar in it. That was so much sugar that we just can't finish it. Leave it bath. We're standing outside El Moro. We had enough of our churros. It was uh, a real sugar hit. But now we're going to get an Uber into Palenco and we're going to a museum, the Sumaya Museum. Right, we've done the Sumaya Gallery. It was free to enter. No video inside, but I could take some pictures. My tip would be to go right to the top, take the elevator to the top, and then walk the way down. There's lots of rings. The Antara Shopping Centre. Had a quick look at the shops, but nothing here for me today. Um, prices are probably about the same as at home, and maybe a little bit more expensive. So, no, not worrying. We then got an Uber back across town to our Roma Hotel. We were told that this is completely normal traffic. To us it looks crazy. We wouldn't like to drive in Mexico City. And of note, most of the cars were manual. So this is what we're going to have for our evening meal. We're just going to have some bread rolls with cheese and ham and avocado and tomato. And we got that from the supermarket for about $18, maybe even less. The bread rolls themselves cost very little, hardly anything at all. So that's about it for tonight. Um, we're just going to eat our dinner and then we're leaving the hotel tomorrow and we're going to join our intrepid trip. And that is over in a different area part of the city. So it's going to be a bit different from now on. We're going to be with other people. So we'll see you then. Good morning. Here we are still in our hotel, but we're about to leave this hotel this morning. We're going to have one of those funny days. We're out of one hotel into another. So we're not quite sure what we're going to do with ourselves this morning, but maybe a cup of coffee. I'm back to the coolie here. It's going to be frizzy. Anyway, we'll see you later. It was a happy accident. We were just wandering around looking for a place to have coffee and we stumbled across Cardinal, which was one of the places I'd picked out to have a look at. And it was very close to where we are staying. So, get a coffee and an oat cookie set us up for the day. We've made it to our hotel and we have a balcony with a view. It's pretty impressive. It, we're on the 15th floor so we're quite high up too. The area looks a little bit um, gritty I think is the word for it.
Time for a room tour. We have two beds uh, and a desk and a table and a balcony and a toilet and bath. Enough of this bathroom tour. Let's go and see the Monument of the Revolution. We keep seeing this around the town in the distance, so we headed over there and the tour starts in the basement. And then once you're done there, looking in the basement and museum area, you go up the glass elevator to the upper level, where then you descend down some rather interesting staircase to the viewing platform. The other stairs in the monument are also kind of mechanical. They were obviously built for maintenance, not for lots of tourists. But anyway, it's a very interesting tourist spot. These are some serious steps to go down. I need to hang on, watch what I'm doing. Steps are very tight, spiral uh, engineering. That's nothing luxury about it. And of course, we're at altitude, so we're puffing getting up here. But the view's worth it now, aren't you here? Right, well, that was the Monument to the Revolution. My legs hurt now from climbing up all those stairs and now we have to walk back to our hotel and we might have a beer. Might be time for a beer. Indeed it was time for a beer. That concludes the video and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time when we start our tour of the rest of Mexico. See ya!